Okay, part three has then given us this circle, and if you notice, the x components are the same as they were in part one, and the y components are the same as they were in part two. If I rearrange it, so I've got my x bits together, and my y bits together, you can see we've got the front of part one followed by part two. So I can straight away obviously change them into what we've given as our answers for part one and part two. So x plus three over two squared take nine over four plus y take two all squared take 27 over four equals zero. They must be the same because each bit was the same from part one. Well, what we can do now, because we're looking for the centre, um, oh, it just wants the centre. The centre is the negative of the bits in the brackets, the numbers in the brackets, so the centre must be minus 3 over 2. So, 